right here on Collins Avenue in South Beach to check out a toy called Takiza. There's nobody else in town who puts that kind of like, craftsmanship into what they're doing. Two carne asadas. I'm having everything on the menu. Asada, camarón. Get a little beach, get the swim, come grab some tacos. Which is exactly the vibe. Restaurant vet Washington Charles and computer programmer Steve Santana were going for when they transformed a closed up restaurant space in 2014. We blew out this yeah. whole front door open, sure. front window open. It's like a food truck on steroids. And they're pumping up the menu by keeping things grounded. Try to keep it as authentic as possible. Favorite item on the menu? It's chips, by far. They're delicious. They're crispy. They're still soft on the inside. It's a topos and guac. They pair with the guacamole like unbelievably well. We're going to prepare the nixtamal, which is a first step to making masa. This is organic, non-GMO blue corn from Mexico. OK, so let's get after this. Pickling lime, water. So it's just going to change the pH a little bit. Just so the skins will come off. Yeah. I've only seen one place in the history of Triple D that has made the nixtamal like this to make their own masa, and that was in, believe it or not, New York City. All right, so now we let this go for how long? Five minutes, super quick, but then it soaks overnight. All right, so this is all of the corn after the skin has been removed. Yeah. Let's hit it. Look, I was getting ready to fly chitty chitty bang bang. I just want water to start flowing through the stones. No, oh, they're literally our stones. Look at that. That's real deal. Yeah. Now we go make tortillas? Yep. On delay. So there we have the masa. This is the right moisture level. You just want like a Play-Doh. OK, drop it. So we do about 100 grams. With all this moisture of the fresh masa, it's going to puff up with all the steam. So it's going to get thin, crispy outside. And the inside is going to be fluffy, creamy, awesome texture. I'm with it. Let's throw it in the fryer. Oh, we're ripping off chunks? Hand torn. Hand torn yes. chips. So a lot hardier, a lot more uh, magical than the regular chips and salsa that people are used to. Yeah, these are like really hearty. That's so good. Outrageous. Yeah. It's a cross between the warm masa that you get in a small egg, then you get a little bit of the crunch, a little bit of salt. You definitely taste all the corn. You make the guacamole fresh. It's dynamite, dude. I'm really telling you, it's dynamite. Amen. So topos, guac and salsa. You could eat your body weight in those chips right there. They're hot, they're soft. It's full of flavor. For me, Takisa's in the perfect spot. Seconds away from the beach. So you're kind of right here in the middle of everything. Oh. The people watching here is wonderful. You know, it's quick eats. I wouldn't miss it if you're here in town. There's nothing more depressing than looking down at your tray and nothing's left, but you can just walk a few feet and get some more. This is probably the closest to a legit Mexican taco stand that I have seen in Triple D. Yeah. Outdoors, great weather, funky area. You're making it happen, brother. Thank Congratulations. You.